Now, real quick, if you're somebody that runs with randoms, this is not the build for you. Cl just click the like button and politely take away yourself from the video. Now, this is going to be an 87 overall gameplay. I want to show you guys gameplay. I'm shooting almost 60% from three with this. I want to show you guys gameplay of the build first before I show you how to make the build. Because I know a lot of skeptics out there. I want to show you guys what the build can do. The build didn't even have an 87 pass yet. All right, so what you're seeing is a 77 pass. I didn't have all my badger, I'm an 87. This was a no money spent build. I got all my VC in the stage from this build and I did not regret it. Because even though the build was still one third of its capabilities, it was still amazing. I'm going to explain to you why this is the best 6-6 build. First of all, if you run with randoms, take for yourself. And if you're a guard that cannot play corner defense and you run with a squad, because let me tell you something, if you're a guard that needs heavy defense on a 3v3 team, you're not a real guard, all right? You must prioritize offense over defense. If you're a Patrick Beverly, deal with it. Make a playmaking lockdown and pass it to the real scorers on the team. Now, you've already seen me literally booming in the paint without that vertical on 82. So I'm telling you, it does not matter. Elites just give you fancier animation. It does not give you more contact dunks. When you trigger the contact dunk meter, if it's meant to be a contact dunk, it's going to give you a contact dunk. Now, you've been watching gameplay of me cooking with this build as an 87 overall. And this is not the only people I've cooked. You will be seeing more gameplay. If you want me to drop a video on how to avoid getting bumped, I will drop that video for you. But I have enough defense on this build to run corner defense in the comp stage where people are using Patty Mills on a lockdown. People are literally shooting with Titans on a lockdown on a big man where you cannot get caught lacking. If you cannot get a contest, you're a liability on the team, which is why I found the perfect attributes to be able to contest people's shots, block them in the paint, chase them down, and get rebounds. I'm going to show you guys the Thanos build right now. This is a comp build. If you play park, make your all around KD LeBron James hybrids, bro. 6'6", six, 6'6", six, six, six wingspan, 180 in weight. Can't go any lower than that. Let me explain to you why I did what I did. You can copy down the stats. If you move anything, it's going to move everything. That's, so don't move anything, all right? You can make changes to alter the build the way you want, though. All right, just remember that. Alter the build the way you want. Now, I'm going to show you one thing I would do differently with this build because it's perfect as it is already. Don't get me wrong. By trial and error, playing with a 6.6 PG in the stage the whole last season, I know what works for a 6.6 and what doesn't work. When it can still semi, right? All right, we're good. Only can't set the stats in it. Common sense. All right, so check this out. Freaking mic, bro. I'm gonna try to fix the mic. I went with a 93 dunk instead of the 94 dunk that I had because I have one. Because I know a lot of y'all gonna say, Yard man, you're missing out on the elite contact dunks at 82. No, I'm not missing out on it because I have a build with it already. I dropped the build for you guys with a 94 dunk and an 82 vertical. I also have a, a smaller build with an 85 vertical. Let me tell you something right now. I did my own testings with Hall of Fame Slithery versus Gold Slithery versus Silver Slithery. I'm going to be honest with you. I had two controllers. You see the controllers them over there in the back. I have one over there, the GBO controller. I was standing in the paint close to where I think that, hey, maybe it'll make a difference. It did not make a difference. Gold and Hall of Fame felt the same. If they were at the same spot and you activated the dunk meter at the same spot, it gave you the same green window every single time. It did not make them register as if they were not there just because you have hall of fame slithery it, it for some reason it was not working and i'm somebody that knows how to dunk meter all right trust me now i did not want no standing dunk because i get standing dunks without even having enough here's where i kept the same stat from my last 6-6 build that 94 three-pointer necessary all right because i love to fade all right so check me out 94 three-point shot you get all the badges you need. Hall of Fame open looks. You don't need anything else. This, this, and this. Nothing else matters. I'll say Green Machine matters, but you get the point. Everything goes hand in hand. I'm shooting some insane shots with it. Matter of fact, I'm shooting almost 60% from three with this build. Now, here's where I went different, man. This is a game changer. Game changer. 87 pass accuracy. When you have a 93 dunk with gold slithery and you core it off rip, and you have that 87 pass accuracy, oh my gosh. I'm talking about there sometimes I you get silver needle threader. It actually does work and you get bailout. Now the bailout, it works every single time unless you're on stamina, your stamina is on flight reacts mode, all right? 92 ball handle, don't need anything higher than that. You're going to get ripped even if it's a 95. Matter of fact, you're gonna get ripped four or five times a game if you do something bad, even if it's a 98 ball handle, if you do not have Hall of Fame unpluckable. Nothing is going to save you from getting plucked other than avoiding getting bumped. So if you can't, if you can't L2 cancel and left stick cancel, 
let me know if you want me to drop an updated tutorial on how not to get bumped. All right, because I don't get bumped. And when I get bumped, I let go of the rock because I'm not trying to get ripped. There is a difference from 83 to 84 with the crab speed boost. When you do a crab and you run, you will notice a slight frame difference. And that frame makes up a big part of my game because that little inch of a frame that they give you is enough to get dunks off. It's, a, it's enough to get that shot off. Instead of going 65 perimeter, I went with 55 because you don't need 65. Even when I had 65 on the old build with a 94 dunk, 94 three pointer, I had workhorse. They still wouldn't even let me get the ball. I get more, I get, I chase the rock down with this and I get stops in the paint with a 55 more than a 65. Make it make sense, right? 58 perimeter, I would not drop it below this. Yeah, you can, but you would have to constantly be hugging that corner. I don't like doing that, bro, because it's a disadvantage to me. I don't like doing that. So, and I don't want to be shot over. So that's why I put my block up to a 68 because it also matters. Your block matters for obviously chase down, but it also matters on your shot contest. So the 68, they're not shooting over me with no Patty Mills on no 6-7 lock or whatever. They can't shoot over me with T-Mac because if I have my hand up, unless, unless they're tight hand up, they can make some of those shots. But if I jump, they're not making no, no smothered, bro. I'm telling you that right now. Rebound 30. You're a 6-6 PG. You don't need anything higher than this. You're going to grab rebound. Disclaimer. If you're still watching this video and you already commented, oh, this is a terrible build. Let me tell you something right now, bro. This build is not terrible. It's just you don't have a squad to run with. And if you have a squad to run with and you're afraid to use a point guard build without defense, then that means you're really not a point guard. You're Patrick Beverly, all right? So accept your role, make a lockdown, and pass the ball to the real scorers on the team. Simple as that, all right? And when you're on a real guard, you can make things happen for you or for your teammates. Not just run out here playing defense and passing the ball. Speed, 83. Honestly, for the big builds, I would keep it at 83 or 82 and use a good motion style. Like, um, like you watch some videos on it. Uh, one of my subscribers said, DeMar DeRozan's actually good. So yeah, you do that with whatever you want. But on a slitter guard, all you need is an 80, bro, to be honest. A hyperdrive don't really do anything if you're not glitchy dribbling. 87 acceleration. I don't care what nobody says. I'm somebody that does it. A lot of y'all don't need no acceleration because you're not dribbling, all right? You're just running up the court. One, two moves, pass, one, two moves. But when you're playing stage, when you're playing comp, not going to work. You better be able to combo up. You see, Joe knows know how to combo up, all right? He can use that low acceleration because he knows how to finesse it, right? But if Joe knows was L2 canceling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, he would be able to tell a difference with the acceleration. Trust me. 80 vertical, this is where I would do something differently because I went with the 80 vert for gold poster, but honestly, I don't feel like that gold poster is needed. I still miss, bro, I miss green dunks with gold poster. I still miss green dunk. If I green a dunk, I don't care if the whole friggin' park is in the paint. I green the dunk. It should go in. Because guess what? You don't have to green no steal. You're going to get that steal if you press square nine times out of ten. Reach at the right time, you're going to get that steal. So if I green a dunk, it should go in. But the problem is with gold poster, you would think you would not miss any dunks, even if you green them. I'm talking about dunks that bounce off the rim, not animations that are canceled. I make green dunks in the stage. And I've lost games because I've made the green dunk, I greened it, and it bounced off the back of the rim. No block, no nothing. Well, then then why? what's the point of the green meter, bro? If you're gonna miss things that you can, I don't get it. So this is what I would do, because you're gonna miss anyways. So drop it to a 78, and now you have some more wiggle room. So put this up to 85, and try to put this up. When you go with that 92, you're able to go ahead and put up your dunk to a 94. Yes, you don't get elite contacts. You do not need elite contacts. When you go to the paint and you trigger a contact dunk, it's going to give you a contact dunk. Joe knows explained this in his stream and I did my own testing on the blacktop. It doesn't matter if you have every single dunk package in this game. It's not going to give you more contact dunks. That's just not how it works. It's, just, it's going to give you different animations each time you trigger the contact dunk. So it's preference. I have a build already with elite contact dunks. I really didn't feel too much different. Yes, some of the animations were nasty. But I still get some of those same animations with just one dunk package. Matter of fact, my new build that I just made don't even get contacts off one, just contacts off two, and I'm still putting people upon the ground in other stage. Talking about like it looks like elite contacts. No, enough about the bag of talking, all right? Enough about the bag of talking. No, this is another way you can make the build, but this is not the one I would make. I would do it the way I had it before. This is the way I would do it. When you make it like this, it's gonna give you a rare name title. But like I said, drop the vertical if you want. Keep it if you want for security. 
I'm telling you, it's not going to make no difference. When you make the build, this is what they're going to call you. Offensive heavy point. Best 6-6 build I've ever made. Best 6-6 build I've ever used. The build is spectacular. Now, there are people out there with similar versions of the build. Great minds think alike. Deco has a similar build, but he has no defense on his build. I cannot do that. They're going to pick on me in that corner like there's no tomorrow. So this with defense saves me. You know, there's a lot of people out there with a build similar to this, but this is my version of the build. All right. Anyways, become the self and we're gone.